This is a lecture from Open Tuition. For the free lecture notes that go with this podcast, please visit opentuition.com. Okay, this is a um, lecture on um, foreign exchange risk management uh, and its options. And it's page 97 of the paper uh, P4 course notes. Uh, first of all, let me explain what an option is. An option is the right to convert uh, a fixed amount at a fixed rate on a, a fixed future date. And the one big thing that makes it very different from forward rates, you'll remember from the um, previous chapter that with a forward rate, you had to convert at that fixed rate. Whatever happened, whether spot rate went in your favour or went against you, you had to convert at the forward rate. With options, you've got the right to convert, but you don't have to use the right. The point is, it's our choice on the date of the transaction to either convert at the spot rate or to what we call exercise the option and convert at the fixed rate. Or the quoted rate. And that's what makes it um, uh, different and in certain cases very attractive. Uh, when it comes to the date of the transaction, you make the choice. If the spot rate's better, you convert at spots and you throw away the option. But if the option rate's better, you use the option, you convert at that fixed rate. The downside, though, is that because you can only win, you can't lose, so to speak. There's a premium payable for the option. Whether or not you use it, or whether or not it's exercised. Now, before I say any more, let me show you what I mean with a, um, hopefully, very, very simple example. An example of what's called an OTC option. OTC means over-the-counter. And as you'll see, effectively, what we mean by over-the-counter is a private quote from the bank. I say, let me show you what I mean by uh, looking at example one on page 97. It's the 1st of April. XPLC expects to receive $2 million on the 30th of June. The current spot rate is 1.5190, and X expects that the rate will move in our favour. Now think about it, if we're certain the rate's going to move in our favour, uh, then we'd be best to just leave things as they are and convert at what spot happens to be. But the problem is, you're never, of course, completely certain. You think it'll move in our favour, but there's always the risk it might move against us. So it says we've bought from the bank an option to sell $2 million on the 30th of June at a price of 1.5200. And the bank have charged us a premium for this of 50000 So we've paid 50000 and what we've got is the right to convert at 1.52 on the 30th of June. But again, it's our choice uh, whether to use the right or not. And we don't make the choice 
until the date of the transaction, the 30th of June. Uh, and the question says, show the outcome on the 30th of June if the exchange rate on that date is, first of all, a spot rate of 1.5180. Well, it may be obvious, but the, the important thing is we have the choice. When it comes to 30th of June, we can either convert at 1.58 or we can exercise the option In which case, we'd convert at, what is it, uh, 1.5200. So it's our choice. We do whichever's better for us. In this case, we're receiving 2 million. <coughs> uh, we're going to convert, but surely, uh, think about it. If you're receiving the money, the lower the rate, the better. We'll be better to convert at the spot rate of 1.58, I uh, beg your pardon, 1.518, uh, and therefore the receipt will be how much? 2 million divided by 1.518 will receive 1.317523 pounds. It was our choice, so we've not exercised the option. Uh, the only thing is, though, although um, we only convert the money on the date of the transaction, so this is a receipt, it's on the 30th of June. Remember that uh, I did say earlier, the premium... It's payable whatever happens. And so we will have had to pay a premium of whatever it was, 50,000. And so uh, the net uh, effect, we end up with a net receipt of... Uh, 1, 2, 6, 7, 5, 2, 3. I think my arithmetic's right. Now, the examiner usually expects you to show the net result. So it's 1.3 million from the transaction. It's 50,000 um, paid for the premium. But do be aware and make the point that although the uh, transaction doesn't take place until the 30th of June, the premium is payable immediately you buy the option. So the premium here was payable on the 1st of April, so although the net result is 1.26 million, it's 1.3 receipt on 30th of June, 50,000 payment on the 1st of April. Well, that was the situation uh, in case A, but in case B, again, we've got the choice. The spot rate is 1.6153. Or we can use the option, and the option rate was 1.52. And again, I hope you'd agree, since we're receiving money, the lower the rate, the better. And so we will, in this case, exercise the option. We'll convert uh, at 1.52. And we'll end up with a receipt of one three one five seven eight nine that receipt remember the conversion takes place on the date of the transaction this question 30th of June uh, but again we'll have had to pay the premium 50,000 uh, that's payable immediately so 1st of April uh, and so a net receipt this time of, what is it, one, two, six, five, seven, eight, nine. So that's basically how it works. Uh, a few things there, though, before we get onto something more interesting. Um, one is, I said before, this is an OTC, this is a private quote to, uh, from the bank. 
And so what happens is you go to the bank. In this case, you tell them they'll need to know the amount you want the option on. It was two million. Uh, they'll need to know the date, obviously, uh, 30th of June. And you'll tell them what exchange rate you want. Uh, we, here it's an exchange rate of 1.5200, but you tell them the exchange rate you want, and then they quote a price. And of course, the price they'll quote will very much depend on how likely um, they think they are to lose, so to speak. So uh, the price will vary with um, whatever option um, option rate you go for. Here they've quoted fifty thousand, uh, and it's our choice whether to buy the option or not. If we think it's too expensive, we can go and try another bank, obviously. Uh, but they, we tell them what we want. They quote what they want. Uh, and I say, it's up to us whether we accept their price or we don't. Uh, secondly, the, uh, the real uses of an option are the benefits when it's worthwhile using. Uh, one, I've already said, is where we think the rate will move in our favour. And I know I said earlier, but I'm sure you'd agree, if you were certain the exchange rate was, the spot rate was going to move in our favour, best of all, it would be doing nothing at all. You know, the lower it gets, the better. Uh, but, the point is we're never certain. There's always a risk we're wrong. And so effectively, the option gives us insurance... Um, if the rate moves the other way. In this particular case, um, we've bought an option uh, with a rate of 1.52. And so we're effectively we're saying we don't mind if the rate goes up a little bit to 1.52. But we are protected against it going up. Going the other way, I beg your pardon. Um, we are protected against the rate going further. Here, surely, the worst that can possibly happen is this. Whatever happens to the exchange rate, the worst, um, the worst result, if you like, is that we get 1.26 million. Uh, that's if the exchange rate goes above 1.52 if, as perhaps we're hoping, the rate goes below 1.52, then we can only gain. The lower it goes, the better off we are. So that's one reason for using it. As I say, it's like insurance. And as with all insurance, you know, you're paying the premium. And hopefully you won't end up using it. In that sense, it's dead money, but it does protect you. The other use, though, is if you're not certain about the actual transaction. You know, here we think we're going to get $2 million. But suppose we're not certain. Um, we've not yet finalised the deal, so we might not get $2 million. Well, of course, we don't want to go for a forward rate, because with a forward rate, we have to convert, even if we don't get the money. But the beauty of an option is if the deal falls through and we don't end up getting any money, then we don't have to do any converting. We just throw the option away. But of course, we've lost the 50000 the premium. But that's the other potential benefit. If we're not certain, that the transaction will take place. I say again, we've lost the 50000 but we may consider that's a small price to pay for the fact that if the transaction takes place, we are protected, we have a fixed exchange rate, or a worst exchange rate, but if the transaction doesn't take place, again, we just throw the option away. 
So, I hope that makes sense, but there over the counter, which certainly the arithmetic involved is very easy indeed, what's rather more interesting and needs a bit more thought and a bit more work are what we call traded options. So we'll have a break there, but the next lecture will go through traded options, which are on page 98 onwards.